Good morning, folks. It is Tuesday morning, the um, 7th of December. Um, we're going to read together this morning another part of the Christmas story. So we're going to jump into Matthew this morning, chapter 1, and read verses 18 to 24. Let's hear God's word. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had a mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you will give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as, as his wife. Amen. You know, so whenever we start to put all the, the gospel accounts together, that we start to get the full picture of Jesus' birth and how then that links in with the Old Testament prophecy. That part of prophecy that is in Matthew comes from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14. And it, it's just, we need to connect all the dots together to see how the Bible as a whole is the story of promise, the story of a Messiah or Emmanuel, story of God restoring our relationship with him, the story of his love poured out for us. I know sometimes we forget about Joseph in the middle of all of this. Poor Joseph, about to get married and all of a sudden finds out the girl he's going to marry is um, pregnant. What's he going to do? What's going to happen? You know, and it's, it, you know, it, in the middle of all of that, then the angel appears to Joseph. He, 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 wants, he wants to do things the right way. He's going to divorce her quietly because he thought she'd been unfaithful. But there's the, the angel comes along in a dream to Joseph and tells him, look, don't worry. This is a miracle from God. And Joseph accepts God's word straight away without any doubt. Um, unlike Zachariah, who, who doubted what was going to happen, Joseph accepts it. And Joseph gets on with God's will. Must have taken a strong man to be able to do that. Someone who realised that this was God in control. And for all of us, God is always in control. Always with us. So as you read the story of the coming of Jesus and of his birth, just remember Joseph. A man who was on the fringes. A man who we know very little about and hear very little else about. But a man who openly accepted God's will. Let's pray. Father, thank you again today for your words. Thank you for the faith of Joseph. How he, without question, once he to was told what was going on, accepted your will. And how he went along with your will. Um, and Lord, just how you use him um, in the early years of your son, Jesus. Lord, help us to accept your will. Help us to be on board with your plan. And to walk with you every moment of every day. Father, thank you for it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Great to have you on. Um, trust that you have a good day. Stay safe in all that windy weather. And I'll be back on again tomorrow morning. In the meantime, take care and God bless. Bye.